Investigators ask employees if anything unusual happened recently. Staff from the night before. Are they ever gonna stop talking about this jerk? Who? Oh. It's Toyer Jerk. He killed someone else. Or attempted to kill someone else. He kills them, don't worry. Well, he doesn't kill them. I can't tell the difference. The law can. The law's a joke. I mean, turn someone into a vegetable, they call it mayhem, but to unlawfully deprive you of your own body, no intent to kill. What's the sense for that? Two to six years. Ooh. You know, I had a stalker just last month. He was standing right there. The curtains moved and he whispered my name again and again. Maud. Maud. Nice. The screen was open. I mean, he could have walked right in. He said, I love you. I never heard it said like that before. How? I don't know. Did you call the cops? Sure, they came and finished off my nasturtiums. The tall cop said he found a clue and asked if it was mine, but I never seen it before. A pocket mirror. That's right, a little pocket mirror. How did you know? I don't know. Lucky guess. Absolutely no one knew about it but me. Did he give it to you? No, why? Well, I dropped it. Oh, don't worry, I don't need it or anything. Peter? Karen is in there, and she's been listening to this whole thing, and she has a gun, so you better go now. Karen isn't in there. Oh, no. Karen, are you in there? That's right. Karen left, and she'll be back and see your motorcycle out front. Karen doesn't live here anymore. Karen's moved. You're making me angry, Peter. Go now! I think I can leave, Maud. And why the hell not? Stand over there, Peter. I'd rather not. I need a drink. Will you give me a drink? I love you. You don't love me, Peter. You're fond of me. Like I'm fond of you. I work with obsessive people. I understand them. There's something very... Sweet about compulsives. You think I'm sweet? No, not sweet in the conventional way. You're a very deep person, Peter. Why did you smile at me? I, I don't know, Peter, did I? I remember your smile. Peter, Peter, don't come any closer, I will scream. You should scream, Mom. If you want to, feel free. Just trying to sound like that kid over there. your jogging while you're and I don't have an aversion to touch him. I cut your phone line, Maud. Out there. Around 10.30. After I ran into you at the parking lot. After I disconnected your throttle linkage. You've been wondering what the toy looks like, Maud. Well, this is what he looks like. Surprised. You think you know me, Peter, but... But you don't know me. I mean, you know facts about me. You don't really know me. You could get to know me. We could be friends. We could be really good friends. I hate to degrade you like this. You're not degrading me. You're so optimistic. It's beautiful. You actually think that I'm not going to touch you. 
that you're going to be fine tomorrow. I am. You see me? I'm a little gloomy about tomorrow. What the hell's your problem? What problem? I need a girl. I make love to I lobotomize her. No problem. I thought you were homosexual. Oh, and I thought you were a psychiatrist. You know, helpful to people like me. To know people like you. You mean I'm fiction? No. I'm just standing off to one side watching the pageant. <laughs> Sanity works, Maud. That was one nasty little boy. Once I borrowed these goldfish, <laughs> and I dropped them into this bathtub filled with lemon jello. <laughs> And I watched them swim slower and slower until they just stopped. And then I went to the movies. I'm gonna do it. Sort of. What I did to Lydia Chase. The papers called it a bloodstorm, Maud. We don't want another bloodstorm. <laughs> I am always touched by someone I can completely control. Kill her! I'm not killing you, Maud. Dead people can't hear opera. And you will always have your opera. You're gonna be alive and famous. Always be known as my twelve. But enough about me. Things are gonna be different for you tomorrow. You are going to be a pretty pale flower. Wheeled around, fed, loved. Everyone secretly loves a failure. Pretty soon you'll start getting into games. People you don't even know. You're a good looking woman, Mom. With a headstrong beauty. Why would I want to see you buried? Eyeless. Look, I know that you're not feeling particularly chatty right now. But this is you we're talking about, not someone else. Don't you care? Can't you show me a couple of tears? I'm expecting. I'm always expecting. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? This feeling of predestiny. Don't worry. All women have it. <laughs> oh, good. Good. No more. When a pack of wild dogs catches a zebra, one grips the zebra's nose in its mouth and the other grips the tail, while the other dogs begin to eat out its stomach. Now you'd think the zebra would fight back, wouldn't you? But no, he's through fighting. This has been happening to him for 20 million years. It's routine. You see, the zebra's already gone. Have you gone away, Maud? Where is your rage? Fuck off, my fucker! Fuck off! Oh, I love it when you flare. <laughs>